Hello dear students, welcome to the lecture 8 of software engineering course. Uh, so the, today's topic is software testing. Uh, software testing is an extremely important aspect of software engineering. Uh, it is alone uh, as an expertise field. Uh, you can work on uh, software engineering uh, 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 area of the soft, uh, software testing of the software engineering and let's continue you will uh, understand what I mean in the following uh, slides so the today's topics covered development testing test driven development release testing user testing Program testing. Testing is intended to show that a program does what it is intended to do and to discover program defects before it is put into use. When you test software, you execute a program using artificial data. You check the results of the test run for errors, anomalies or information about the program's non-functional attributes. Can reveal the presence of errors not their absence. Testing is part of a more general verification and validation process, which also includes static validation techniques. Okay, this is important. Can reveal the presence of errors, not their absence. So, uh, if you don't uh, uh, apply the correct uh, testing, uh, you can miss the existing errors in your application. However, uh, since uh, you didn't uh, apply the correct test or that uh, the events that will trigger that error has not happened uh, they would go unnoticed therefore uh, uh, in addition to the testing you have to have a well-designed uh, exception handling which will uh, handle the un uh, unexpected errors and lock them properly uh, so that you can uh, check them later and fix them uh, later, okay. Program testing goals. To demonstrate to the developer and the customer that the software meets its requirements. For custom software, this means that there should be at least one test for every requirement in the requirements document. For generic software products, it means that there should be tests for all of the system features, plus combinations of these features, that will be incorporated in the product release. To discover situations in which the behavior of the software is incorrect, undesirable or does not conform to its specification. Defect testing is concerned with rooting out undesirable system behavior such as system crashes, unwanted interactions with other systems, incorrect computations and data corruption. Validation and defect testing. The first goal leads to validation testing. You expect the system to perform correctly using a given set of test cases that reflect the system's expected use. The second goal leads to defect testing. The test cases are designed to expose defects. The test cases in defect testing can be deliberately obscure and need not reflect how the system is normally used. Testing process goals. Validation testing. To demonstrate to the developer and the system customer that the software meets its requirements. A successful test shows that the system operates as intended. Defect testing. To discover faults or defects in the software where its behavior is incorrect or not in conformance with its specification. A successful test is a test that makes the system perform incorrectly and so exposes a defect in the system. An input output model of program testing. 
Okay, so there is input test data. It goes into the system and there uh, we get the output test results. And input is causing anomalous behavior here. Uh, and it goes into the system and outputs which reveal the presence of defects. Okay, so we get both uh, expected results and anomaly results when we provide uh, input that will cause anomaly and then we can fix those anomalies and such. Verification versus validation. Verification. Are we building the product right? The software should conform to its specification. Validation. Are we building the right product? The software should do what the user really requires. Okay, ver verification and validation confidence. V and V confidence. Aim of V and V is to establish confidence that the system is fit for purpose. Depends on system's purpose, user expectations and marketing environment. Software purpose. The level of confidence depends on how critical the software is to an organization. User expectations. Users may have low expectations of certain kinds of software. Okay, for example, which software could have uh, low expectations? If we think about that. Okay, what comes to your mind uh, for low expectations? Uh, for example, uh, let's think about what can we give an, as a low expectation. Okay. I am also trying to uh, think of a software that I would have low expectations. Okay, uh, nothing comes to my mind that I would have low expectations. However, there can be software uh, which can tolerate errors and which cannot tolerate errors. Okay, we have discussed this before. For example, in games, you can tolerate errors. Okay, they can be fixed without any real damage and they would only uh, harm to your farm. In most cases however in a critical uh, software health critical such as let's say uh, the shuttle that will uh, uh, transport uh, astronauts to the uh, space cannot tolerate any error okay and for your user expectations Whatever the example I will give can be important for some others. For example, let's say email software. I wouldn't have too much expectation from it. Uh, however, some may have a lot of expectations from email software or such. Okay. Marketing environment. Getting a product to market early may be more important than finding defects in the program. Uh, if you are a solo developer or you have a small team and you are out of money, uh, this is so true. You would like to publish your software, start uh, generating revenue, and then improve your software. This is usually about um, uh, indie developers too. Okay. Inspections and testing. 
software inspections concerned with analysis of the static system representation to discover problems static verification may be supplement by tool-based document and code analysis it will be discussed in lecture 15 which is the next semester lectures software testing concerned with exercising and observing product behavior dynamic verification the system is executed with test data and its operational behavior is observed. Inspections and testing. Okay, inspections. Requirements, specification, system prototype, software architecture, human design models, database scheme, program, and uh, there is testing. Okay. Software inspections. These involve people examining the source representation with the aim of discovering anomalies and defects. Inspections not require execution of a system so may be used before implementation. They may be applied to any representation of the system, requirements, design, configuration data, test data, etc. They have been shown to be an effective technique for discovering program errors. Uh, this is so true. Let's say uh, you are the lead engineer in your group, and if you inspect the written source code of uh, your uh, engineers under your command, you can easily discover their uh, software errors program errors before even your program get tested or put into the production and such. Advantages of inspections During testing, errors can mask, hide, other errors. Because inspection is a static process, you don't have to be concerned with interactions between errors. Incomplete versions of a system can be inspected without additional costs. If a program is incomplete, then you need to develop specialized test harnesses to test the parts that are available. As well as searching for program defects, an inspection can also consider broader quality attributes of a program, such as compliance with standards, portability and maintainability. Inspections and Testing Inspections and testing are complementary and not opposing verification techniques. Both should be used during the V&V &V process. Inspections can check conformance with a specification but not conformance with the customer's real requirements. Inspections cannot check non-functional characteristics such as performance, usability, etc. A model of the software testing process. Okay, let's see the model of uh, software testing process. So there is design test cases. First, we design the test cases. Which cases, uh, which cases we will use for testing our software. Uh, if we materialize that, for example, let's say uh, you have a, a school management system. And uh, for example, let's take into consideration the register page. In the register page, you would have registered button, okay, and you would have some checks such as uh, if that username is, or let's say if, uh, yeah, we can say that if that username is taken, uh, you would display an error to the user. So a test case would be for the register page, uh, use X name to register and check if uh, this user already exists, message is displayed or not. Okay, so this would be a test case. And you can generate such test cases and automatically, and once you coded those test testing uh, cases, each time you make an update to your software, you can automatically execute them and see if uh, any part of your program is broken or still con still working as intended. Okay. So these are test cases. There are test cases, and 
after we have test cases we prepare test data then uh, we test data we run program with the test data then we obtain test results and we compare test results with the test cases okay so for example uh, uh, in, in the example we have given uh, register try to register with the same username there could be a, an error message uh, like uh, this username is already is already exists so please uh, choose another username so we would expect this message to be uh, generated after the test result after the run program test data and we compare this message with the test case we have designed okay and then we generate finally the test report stages of testing development testing where the system is tested during development to discover bugs and defects release testing where a separate testing team test a complete version of the system before it is released to users user testing where users or potential users of a system test the system in their own environment okay uh sorry about the poor sound quality i just noticed my uh, microphone error uh, okay let's continue development testing development testing includes all testing activities that are carried out by the team developing the system unit testing where individual program units or object classes are tested unit testing should focus on testing the functionality of objects or methods component testing where several individual units are integrated to create composite components component testing should focus on testing component interfaces system testing where some or all of the components in a system are integrated and the system is tested as a whole system testing should focus on testing component interactions unit testing unit testing is the process of testing individual components in isolation it is a defect testing process units may be individual functions or methods within an object object classes with several attributes and methods composite components with defined interfaces used to access their functionality object class testing complete test coverage of a class involves testing all operations associated with an object setting and interrogating all object attributes exercising the object in all possible states inheritance makes it more difficult to design object class tests as the information to be tested is not localized the weather station object interface okay uh, so the weather station object has or let's say the class has uh, one uh, field which is identifier then it has uh, one two three four five six seven methods okay so uh, we can test uh, seven methods and one field of the uh, weather station object okay or class to test the class you have to compose an object uh, from that class if it is not a static class okay weather station testing need to define test cases for report weather calibrate test startup and shutdown okay one two three four five for five uh, method it requires uh, defining test cases which are report weather and calibrate oh it is not here so there may be extra methods as well using a state model identify sequences of state transitions to be tested and the event sequences to cause these transitions 
For example, shut down to running to shut down. Configuring to running to testing to transmitting to running. Running to collecting to running to summarizing to transmitting to running. Automated testing. Whenever possible, unit testing should be automated so that tests are run and checked without manual intervention. In automated unit testing, you make use of a test automation framework such as Junit to write and run your program tests. Unit testing frameworks provide generic test classes that you extend to create specific test cases. They can then run all of the tests that you have implemented and report, often through some GUI, on the success of otherwise of the tests. GUI is a graphical user interface. Automated test components. A setup part, where you initialize the system with the test case, namely the inputs and expected outputs. A call part, where you call the object or method to be tested. An assertion part where you compare the result of the call with the expected result. If the assertion evaluates to true, the test has been successful if false, then it has failed. Okay, let's open this video to have an idea. Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. I just wanted to go over a little uh, random video in Java and it's how to set up a base. And let's say... And it says JUnit4 is not on the build path. What we want to test new so now what this means is test is the object that we created from the JUnit unit testing called the and right here it's good we probably need to save everything you see it says assert equals 25 bit output so the if output of square method of the test class is equal to 25 it will give it will say that it is passive and right here it's good it's you see green it is pass it. you see it's pass it. 25 and now let's make a test case for count a so the way we do that make sure you get out of the j unit right here and go test. testing output again the string i'm just going to say assert run that one let's just say there you go and that should give us a three so this should give us a false so that did not work all right Okay, you can get more idea about G unit. If you want, let's continue. Unit test effectiveness. The test cases should show that, when used as expected, the component that you are testing does what it is supposed to do. If there are defects in the component, these should be revealed by test cases. This leads to two types of unit test case. The first of these should reflect normal operation of a program and should show that the component works as expected. The other kind of test case should be based on testing experience of where common problems arise. It should use abnormal inputs to check that these are properly processed and do not crash the component. This is important. Uh, your software should never crash. Okay, so whatever the client do, whatever the user do, you have to handle them gracefully and make sure that your application continue to run even uh, an abnormal input is provided. Okay. Testing strategies. Partition testing, where you identify groups of inputs that have common characteristics and should be processed in the same way. You should choose tests from within each of these groups. Guideline based testing, where you use testing guidelines to choose test cases. 
These guidelines reflect previous experience of the kinds of errors that programmers often make when developing components. Partition testing Input data and output results often fall into different classes where all members of a class are related. Each of these classes is an equivalence partition or domain where the program behaves in an equivalent way for each class member. Test cases should be chosen from each partition. Equivalence partitioning. Okay, there is input equivalence partitions, and there are possible inputs. And uh, there is when you provide inputs to the system, uh, there you get output partitions, correct outputs, and possible outputs. Okay. Equivalence partitions. Okay, less than four, three, four, between four and ten, four, seven, ten, more than ten, eleven. These are the input values, and the, uh, it continue the input values. Less than ten thousand, between ten thousand, and by the way, these are number of input values, and these are the input values. Uh, so how many input values we have? We have five input values, which is uh, get being in this partition between 4 and 10 and uh, this is the input values itself okay testing guidelines sequences test software with sequences which have only a single value use sequences of different sizes in different tests derive tests so that the first middle and last elements of the sequence are accessed test with sequences of zero length okay and uh, so okay let's continue general testing guidelines choose inputs that force the system to generate all error messages design inputs that cause input buffers to overflow repeat the same input or series of inputs numerous times Force invalid outputs to be generated. Force computation results to be too large or too small. Okay. Key points. Testing can only show the presence of errors in a program. It cannot demonstrate that there are no remaining faults. Development testing is the responsibility of the software development team. A separate team should be responsible for testing a system before it is released to customers. Development testing includes unit testing, in which you test individual objects and methods component testing in which you test related groups of objects and system testing, in which you test partial or complete systems. Okay, so we start part two. Component testing Software components are often composite components that are made up of several interacting objects. For example, in the weather station system, the reconfiguration component includes objects that deal with each aspect of the reconfiguration. You access the functionality of these objects through the defined component interface. Testing composite components should therefore focus on showing that the component interface behaves according to its specification. You can assume that unit tests on the individual objects within the component have been completed. Okay, so this is interface testing. There are uh, test cases and ABC. Okay, so here we communicate through the interface and we expect the results interface testing objectives are to detect faults due to interface errors or invalid assumptions about interfaces interface types 
Parameter interfaces data passed from one method or procedure to another. Shared memory interfaces block of memory is shared between procedures or functions. Procedural interfaces subsystem encapsulates a set of procedures to be called by other subsystems. Message passing interfaces subsystems request services from other subsystems. Interface errors. Interface misuse. A calling component calls another component and makes an error in its use of its interface e.g. parameters in the wrong order. So you should also test uh, cases like this and see if your program is graceful to handling these kind of er errors or not. Interface misunderstanding. A calling component embeds assumptions about the behavior of the called component which are incorrect. Timing errors. The called and the calling component operate at different speeds and out-of-date information is accessed. Interface testing guidelines. Design tests so that parameters to a called procedure are at the extreme ends of their ranges. Always test pointer parameters with null pointers. Design tests which cause the component to fail. Use stress testing in message passing systems. In shared memory systems, vary the order in which components are activated. Okay, one moment. Okay. So. System testing. System testing during development involves integrating components to create a version of the system and then testing the integrated system. The focus in system testing is testing the interactions between components. System testing checks that components are compatible, interact correctly and transfer the right data at the right time across their interfaces. System testing tests the emergent behavior of a system. System and component testing. During system testing, reusable components that have been separately developed and off the shelf systems may be integrated with newly developed components. The complete system is then tested. Components developed by different team members or sub teams may be integrated at this stage. System testing is a collective rather than an individual process. In some companies, system testing may involve a separate testing team with no involvement from designers and programmers. Use case testing. The use cases developed to identify system interactions can be used as a basis for system testing. Each use case usually involves several system components so testing the use case forces these interactions to occur. The sequence diagrams associated with the use case documents the components and interactions that are being tested. Collect weather data sequence chart. Okay, so the object here is the weather information system itself. I mean the actor uh to say it in correct terms so uh, the actor requests uh it requests a report and it goes to the satellite communications and then it goes to weather station and uh request report um uh, request report weather method and the weather station goes to comms link to get summary and the summarized method is called from weather data. I mean, the weather data uh, is used to summarize, then the uh, results are, are reported back. So, in this case, uh, what kind of testing we can make? Uh, 
do you think? Um, we can uh, call the request method and we can return an artificial we can have an artificial weather data and we would expect our system to return that artificial weather data and if it is not returning our test would fail at some point okay so it doesn't have to be a real weather data from a real uh, weather it can be uh, programmatically artificial data we have uh, generated okay testing policies exhaustive system testing is impossible so testing policies which define the required system test coverage may be developed examples of testing policies all system functions that are accessed through menus should be tested combinations of functions e.g. text formatting that are accessed through the same menu must be tested where user input is provided all functions must be tested with both correct and incorrect input Test driven development. Test driven development TDD, is an approach to program development in which you interleave testing and code development. Tests are written before code and passing the tests is the critical driver of development. You develop code incrementally, along with a test for that increment. You don't move on to the next increment until the code that you have developed passes its test. TDD was introduced as part of agile methods such as extreme programming. However, it can also be used in plan-driven development processes. I would say that test-driven development is an extremely good and useful approach for uh, individual developers or small companies. Okay, it can ensure that your product is uh, ready at every stage and therefore you can publish it early and then make incremental uh, updates to your software and you can start generating money as soon as uh, you can release the beta or um, alpha version of your software and uh, keep improving it uh, I think so I think uh, the test driven development approach is extremely useful for India developers and small companies okay test driven development okay first we identify the new functionality and then we write the test for it then we run the test for it uh, on the software we have coded and if it if, if it fails we implement the functionality and refactor our code and if passes then we move to the next new functionality okay okay so let's continue uh... tdd process act sorry about the interruptions and TDD process activities. Start by identifying the increment of functionality that is required. This should normally be small and implementable in a few lines of code. Write a test for this functionality and implement this as an automated test. Run the test, along with all other tests that have been implemented. Initially, you have not implemented the functionality so the new test will fail. Implement the functionality and rerun the test. Once all tests run successfully, you move on to implementing the next chunk of functionality. Benefits of test driven development Code coverage Every code segment that you write has at least one associated test, so all code written has at least one test. Regression testing a regression test suite is developed incrementally as a program is developed. Simplified debugging. When a test fails, it should be obvious where the problem lies. The newly written code needs to be checked and modified. 
system documentation. The tests themselves are a form of documentation that describe what the code should be doing. Regression testing. Regression testing is testing the system to check that changes have not broken previously working code. In a manual testing process, regression testing is expensive but, with automated testing, it is simple and straightforward. All tests are rerun every time a change is made to the program. Tests must run, successfully, before the change is committed. Release testing Release testing is the process of testing a particular release of a system that is intended for use outside of the development team. The primary goal of the release testing process is to convince the supplier of the system that it is good enough for use. Release testing, therefore, has to show that the system delivers its specified functionality, performance and dependability, and that it does not fail during normal use. Release testing is usually a black box testing process where tests are only derived from the system specification. Release testing and system testing. Release testing is a form of system testing. Important differences. A separate team that has not been involved in the system development should be responsible for release testing. System testing by the development team should focus on discovering bugs in the system, defect testing. The objective of release testing is to check that the system meets its requirements and is good enough for external use, validation testing. Requirements-based testing. Requirements-based testing involves examining each requirement and developing a test or tests for it. MHC PMS requirements. This was medical health care patient management system, if you remember. If a patient is known to be allergic to any particular medication, then prescription of that medication shall result in a warning message being issued to the system user. If a prescriber chooses to ignore an allergy warning, they shall provide a reason why this has been ignored. By the way, not medical, but mental health care patient management system. Sorry about that. Okay. So let's continue. Requirements tests. Set up a patient record with no known allergies. Prescribe medication for allergies that are known to exist. Check that a warning message is not issued by the system. Set up a patient record with a known allergy. Prescribe the medication to that the patient is allergic to, and check that the warning is issued by the system. Set up a patient record in which allergies to two or more drugs are recorded. Prescribe both of these drugs separately and check that the correct warning for each drug is issued. Prescribe two drugs that the patient is allergic to. Check that two warnings are correctly issued. Prescribe a drug that issues a warning and overrule that warning. Check that the system requires the user to provide information explaining why the warning was overruled. Features tested by scenario. Authentication by logging on to the system, downloading and uploading of specified patient records to a laptop. Home visit scheduling. Encryption and decryption of patient records on a mobile device. Record retrieval and modification. Links with the drug's database that maintains side effect information. The system for call prompting. A usage scenario for the MHC PMS. Kate is a nurse who specializes in mental health care. One of her responsibilities is to visit patients at home to check that their treatment is effective and that they are not suffering from medication side effects. On a day for home visits, Kate logs into the MHC PMS and uses it to print her schedule of home visits for that day, along with summary information about the patients to be visited. She requests that the records for these patients be downloaded to her laptop. 
She is prompted for her key phrase to encrypt the records on the laptop. One of the patients that she visits is Jim, who is being treated with medication for depression. Jim feels that the medication is helping him but believes that it has the side effect of keeping him awake at night. Kate looks up Jim's record and is prompted for her key phrase to decrypt the record. She checks the drug prescribed and queries its side effects. Sleeplessness is a known side effect so she notes the problem in Jim's record and suggests that he visits the clinic to have his medication changed. He agrees so Kate enters a prompt to call him when she gets back to the clinic to make an appointment with a physician. She ends the consultation and the system re-encrypts Jim's record. After, finishing her consultations, Kate returns to the clinic and uploads the records of patients visited to the database. The system generates a call list for Kate of those patients who she has to contact for follow-up information and make clinic appointments. Okay. Performance testing. Part of release testing may involve testing the emergent properties of a system, such as performance and reliability. Tests should reflect the profile of use of the system. Performance tests usually involve planning a series of tests where the load is steadily increased until the system performance becomes unacceptable. Stress testing is a form of performance testing where the system is deliberately overloaded to test its failure behavior. User testing. User or customer testing is a stage in the testing process in which users or customers provide input and advice on system testing. User testing is essential, even when comprehensive system and release testing have been carried out, the reason for this is that influences from the user's working environment have a major effect on the reliability, performance, usability and robustness of a system. These cannot be replicated in a testing environment. Types of user testing Alpha testing Users of the software work with the development team to test the software at the developer's site. Beta testing A release of the software is made available to users to allow them to experiment and to raise problems that they discover with the system developers. Acceptance testing Customers test a system to decide whether or not it is ready to be accepted from the system developers and deployed in the customer environment. Primarily for custom systems. The acceptance testing process. Okay, first we define the acceptance criteria, then we define the test criteria, and they use it to plan acceptance testing, then the test plan uh, is generated, and we test plan and plan, plan acceptance testing, Drive acceptance tests and tests are applied and run acceptance, te acceptance tests. Then the test results are generated. Negotiate test results, uh, generate testing report, and based on these test results and testing report, accept or reject the system. Okay. Stages in the acceptance testing process Define acceptance criteria, Plan acceptance testing. Derive acceptance tests. Run acceptance tests. Negotiate test results. Reject accept system. Agile methods and acceptance testing. In Agile methods, the user, customer is part of the development team and is responsible for making decisions on the acceptability of the system. Tests are defined by the user, customer and are integrated with other tests in that they are run automatically when changes are made. There is no separate acceptance testing process. Main problem here is whether or not the embedded user is typical and can represent the interests of all system stakeholders. Okay, so the key points of chapter 2 in today's uh, course when testing software you should try to break the software by using experience and guidelines to choose types of test case that have been effective in discovering defects in other systems wherever possible you should write automated tests 
The tests are embedded in a program that can be run every time a change is made to a system. Test-first development is an approach to development where tests are written before the code to be tested. Scenario testing involves inventing a typical usage scenario and using this to derive test cases. Acceptance testing is a user testing process where the aim is to decide if the software is good enough to be deployed and used in its operational environment. Okay, so uh, let's uh, check some more information related to uh, testing engineers. Let's find what kind of job offers there are for uh, software test engineers. This is a pretty, uh, let's say, demanding area. So I think there should be some good job offers. Okay, so this is uh, for, I think, uh, US job offers. Jamewell Technologies, you see they are looking for remote. And let's see the description of the job offer. Job description, essential job functions. Participates as a member of a testing team. Utilizing the Gainwell testing methodology, analyzes testing requirements as the basis for developing testing scenarios for a test level to be executed on a project. Designs testing scenarios and test cases that will demonstrate conformance to all functional and non-functional requirements, relative to the test level, as defined in business or technical specifications. Executes tasks related to the production of the test plan, test cases, test scripts, and test data. Analyzes the results of the testing process and recommends solutions. Understands and uses appropriate automated testing processes and tools. Supports knowledge management and collaboration through participation in testing discussions, communities, and improving testing collateral through lessons learned. Okay, so let's see the basic qualifications. Basic qualifications. Typically, a technical bachelor's degree or equivalent experience and a minimum of one to two years of related experience may include highly experienced individuals performing entry-level equivalent work who are non-degreed or degreed in an unrelated field. One to two years experience in writing and executing test cases, test scripts. Knowledgeable in testing and development methodologies and their interaction. Good verbal and written communication skills. Proficient in testing analysis and design, functional and performance models, and test specifications to develop functional models for testing, develop performance models for testing, evaluate and validate test cases and scripts, validate functional models for testing, validate performance models for testing, develop test specifications, validate test specifications, validate testing coverage, escalate quality issues for resolution, evaluate test automation tools and validate testing environment in order to develop test specifications. Proficient in testing processes and tools to execute test cases and scripts, analyze test results, report on testing progress and results, facilitate defect resolution and document final test results in order to execute testing engagement. Knowledgeable of testing processes and testing metrics to review test summary report, provide testing project feedback and archive testing assets in order to verify completion of testing. Other qualifications strong analytical and problem solving skills to analyze data, identify and assess problems in program and test program modifications and enhancements, good communication skills to interact with team members, customers, and support personnel and explain methodologies and test results, good presentation skills to present test results to individuals and groups, good personal computer and business solutions, software skills, good leadership skills to guide and mentor the work of less experienced personnel ability to work independently and as part of a team okay so they also accept other u.s location and remote work may be considered okay so you see this is a real job offer i bet they are paying at least 
um, six thousand dollars per month maybe even more uh, so the test being a test engineer is a real job and it's a demanding job there are lots of job opportunities and what we are uh, teaching in this course is real okay you see they are demanding the same thing so if you can grasp the basic or let's say the primary concept of being a software engineer i am sure that you can easily find a well-paying job and there are some other uh, job offers as well let's check them so we're looking for an incredibly talented full-time software engineer you would dive right into our fast-paced, multi-faceted engineering team and learn at lightning pace. So let's see the responsibilities. Design, build, test, deploy, and maintain software manage individual priorities, deadlines, and deliverables prepare and participate in software design discussions and code reviews communicate and problem solve with various stakeholders such as customer facing teams, product management, and leadership. Okay, for example, they, what they want is pretty, I, I, I think pretty simple. Uh, most of you already can um, pass these qualifications. You are highly self-motivated, resourceful, and enjoy working alongside a motivated team. You love learning new things fast. You iterate to improve software and deliver products on short time scales. You have one plus years of work experience in software development. You have experience with general purpose software programming languages, e.g. Python, Java, JavaScript, etc. You hold a bachelor's degree in computer science, similar technical field of study, or equivalent practical experience. Okay, and location, work remote, work in Boston-based office, or take hybrid approach. You see, you can even uh, apply to this job if they accept the uh, work remote. And, wow, this company has so many reviews. Remax. Okay, let's read this one as well. As software test engineer, you will join our QA chapter team. You will work to guide and mentor other software test engineers, ensuring the high level of product quality. You will be involved in a wide range of software engineering projects in support of the organization's growth. Essential duties. Develop automated testing suites using the automation framework UI and API, deploy code to test, QA and prod environments, define MVP test scope in agile ceremonies, support multiple enterprise products, collaborate and mentor other software test engineers, actively work to build and maintain a positive team culture, find creative solutions, work diligently, and address changes with confidence. Required qualifications and skills. I think the uh, this uh, job offer is for more likely to senior uh, engineers. Six plus years of software testing or similar role, three plus years of automated testing using various frameworks, three plus years in mobile application testing, two plus years API validation, testing experience with Scrum, agile methodologies, strong documentation and communication skills, creating and socializing standards, four plus year degree from an accredited university or equivalent work experience in IT. Okay desired qualifications and skills you see they are uh, require, requiring you to be able to use github with gitlab c cd using gitlab github sql database queries familiar with postman newman writing end to end tests with cypress selenium appium ability to jump right in with little to no hand holding team focused self-directed flexible critical thinking and problem solving skills good time management skills great interpersonal and communication skills by the way uh, selenium is a great uh, 
framework to make web-based testing Let me show you an example uh, article related to this. Okay. Uh, with Selenium, you can uh, control the uh, Chrome driver, which is uh, uh, another version of the Chrome as we know and you can open the web pages do manipulation of web pages and run anything you want this is also widely used in software testing in real companies let's find a good video maybe I have used, by the way, this um, uh, previous in my um, for my personal projects. Okay, this is pretty old. Yeah, part. this is zip file. See, I'm getting simply legal state. There's nothing but I discuss until you don't speak. Okay, I think. I think I can also compose a Selenium example, but I, you get the idea. You can find, look for the more resources yourself. Full time engineer produced at Apple, software test engineer. Okay, this company has some lower score. Test engineer remote. Uh, okay. Wow, well, so many reviews. Okay, anyway, you see there are lots of lots of uh, job opportunities for software test engineers. You can specialize yourself in software testing engineer uh, as a software testing engineer. You see so many job offers. And it was only a single website. There are more websites. For example, Glassdoor. Software test engineer. You see the payment is between uh, 57k to 100k per year. Which is a huge amount of money in Turkey, for example. Or in many countries. Okay, test engineer responsible for performing disease. Let's read the description of this, for example. Okay. Well, you see the salaries. Okay. They are huge. Let's see the qualifications. Basic qualifications. This position requires a strong understanding of and experience with Linux and Windows operating systems, as well as Bash, Python, and MySQL. PostgreSQL databases. You will need to be methodical in your approach, have solid problem solving and debugging skills to determine the root cause of software defects, and be able to properly convey and report your findings. You will write and review technical documentation, including but not limited to test reports, installation and user guides ability to handle stress and work well under pressure analytical and critical thinking skills multitasking ability so let's see the preferred qualifications preferred qualifications a degree professional or personal experience in one of the following disciplines computer engineering software engineering computer science or math knowledge of an experience with VMware 
proxies, pie test, nose test ideal candidates will exhibit our core values, passion, capacity, and humility passion for the customers and mission we serve capacity to learn and grow into a technical leader humility to learn from others and treat others with respect. By the way, uh, they require a US citizen, uh, so maybe look other uh, offers. Principal software engineer, software engineer in test, text test. Let's see this. By the way, QA team is quality assignment assessment assessment team. I think. Quality assurance, probably quality assurance team. Okay, and uh, okay, so uh, you can also look for various job offers and decide already uh, in what you want to be a professional. Okay, what we are showing in this uh, course in software engineering. Believe me, it will be useful in your professional life if you work in a uh, semi-professional or fully professional company if you work as a uh, as a uh, single developer as a uh, India developer you may not use the things we are uh, showing you here however if you work in a professional company believe me they will expect from you the things we teach in this course because this is how it is done in real life because with uh, these skills these approaches uh, these methodologies you can work in a synchronization uh, with other team members you can uh, complete the tasks with uh, top efficiency okay you see there are companies apple amazon and for example they are looking for a junior software tester there are uh, 47 appliers to this uh, job offer let's see they are looking for remotes and summary responsible for manual testing all the aspects of a software solution for usability and functionality Job functions and duties perform functional and regression testing of web-based and mobile applications ensure that all defects are entered into the defect tracking system JIRA. other duties as assigned occasional evening and weekend work to meet deadlines test planning maintain test plans, scenarios, scripts, and procedures. Software testing execute manual functional testing based on analysis and understanding of the requirements and deployment environment regression test to ensure release quality provide functional testing to ensure features are complete and function as expected. You see they are requiring regression test with, which we have just learned in this lecture here. Regression testing a regression test suite is developed incrementally as a program is developed. Okay, so you see this uh, lecture is about a real life. Okay. Regression testing. It is about... Uh, uh, Regression testing is testing the system to check that changes have not broken previously working code. In a manual testing process, regression testing is expensive but, with automated testing, it is simple and straightforward. All tests are rerun every time a change is made to the program. Tests must run successfully before the change is committed. Okay, test system engineering in, in Hawaii. Oh, this is Istanbul based. There are two plus uh, appliers. Okay. Senior software and test engineers. Anyway, you can look for job offers and oh, not even 25% has applied. 
Oh, so much salary. Okay, uh, so we can end our lecture here. I will upload uh, the slide to the, our GitHub repository with using Git Bash. All right, uh, please uh, try to be safe from coronavirus. It is extremely dangerous. Believe me, uh, my uh, grandfather has passed away from coronavirus. Yes, he was old, but um, sometimes younger people also die from coronavirus. So stay safe. Hopefully see you next week. End of lecture.